Apparently, Screen Rant, according to this so-called journalist, is going to explain the backlash to Netflix's Queen Cleopatra series. But will it actually be a genuine explanation? Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video. And if you have not been following the news surrounding the recent release to the Netflix streaming service, the Queen Cleopatra series, the scores are in, both critics and user alike, and it is sitting abysmally at a 1.1 out of 10 on IMDb, and as far as user reviews go on Rotten Tomatoes, at a 2%, with a critic score of around 10 or 11%. That is abysmally low. But apparently, according to Alex Keenan, there is an explanation to all of this. But what is it, according to him or her? Don't want to assume gender. <gasps> Let's just dive right into this article so we can get a gauge of what the explanation according to Screen Rant will be. So without further ado, here it is. Despite its recent release, Netflix's Queen Cleopatra already has an astonishingly low score on Rotten Tomatoes, which is partially due to backlash regarding the show's casting choices. Queen Cleopatra is a docudrama miniseries. It couched itself as a documentary series, meaning non-fiction, meaning historically accurate, when it's neither that details the Egyptian queen's rise to power and her rule from 51 BC to 30 BC. The season is the second of Jada Pinkett Smith's project, African Queens, with the first season covering the life of Queen Najinga. So far, reception to Queen Cleopatra's take. Take. No, it, it should be the. It should be factual, right? Not just a take take on the historic figure's life has been far from welcome. Of course, reviews and ratings aren't always perfect guides in projecting a show or movie success. The copium is strong here. While I do partly agree, it's still copium. This is especially true of reviews that are garnered immediately on a project's release. After all, even series that are initially panned may become called classic later on, and vice versa. While it's impossible to tell which of these two camps Queen Cleopatra resides in, I would hazard a safe bet it's not going to be in the cult classic camp. It is safe to say that the most immediate response to the show from both critics and viewers, although stemming from different complaints, is not positive. Oh, look at this subheadline. Queen Cleopatra's Rotten Tomato audience score was review bombed due to casting backlash. I said in my last video when I was going over the different user reviews and scores, just you wait. Just you wait. They're going to start the spin for review bombing because the scores were so low and here it is. Even among other poor Rotten Tomatoes scores, Queen Cleopatra's are particularly abysmal, with the audience score sitting at 2%. Many of these negative reviews critique the series for being factually inaccurate, with several lodging direct complaints about James's race. The reason why they're lodging complaints about James's race is because Queen Cleopatra, the actual historical figure, was not dark-skinned. She had Hellenistic features, meaning that she was fair-skinned, or light-skinned, however you want to put it, but she was not dark-skinned. She's of, of Greek, specifically Macedonian descent. Her father, uh, okay, her father of the Ptolemaic line married his sister. Their family was notorious for inbreeding to keep the family bloodline pure. So there's no way at all that Queen Cleopatra would be dark-skinned because they would not at all go outside the family, right, with the indigenous population. They would not. There's drawings of Queen Cleopatra depicting her as light-skinned and so forth. Even her depictions on coins show Hellenistic features. Northern Africa today is a mix, is a mix of anywhere from light-skinned to dark-skinned still. It's people, particularly SJWs, those who want to spend narratives, whenever they think of Africa, they think it's made up of all dark-skinned individuals. When reality says otherwise, it doesn't matter to them. It does not matter to them. All that matters to them is what fits their narrative, what fits their own perspective of the world, not how the world actually is. And part of the reason why there is such a mix is because of the closeness and proximity Northern Africa is to the Mediterranean countries and so forth. But I'm not here to give a history lesson. Let's just continue in this article. These reviews argue that Cleopatra's Hellenistic ancestry meant that she could not be black. Yes, she could not be black. And I just outlined big reasons why. 
and that casting her as such is an insult to Egyptian history and culture. Yes, Netflix single-handedly, along with Jada Pinkett Smith and the director, pissed off not just Egypt, but Greece as well. Alright, so they've pissed off people on multiple continents. Good job. Even the Egyptian Supreme Council of Antiquities expressed similar responses to the casting and has even filed a lawsuit against Netflix. Unfortunately for the show's ratings, these responses spurred further negative reviews, sometimes with viewers openly admitting that they did not finish the series. Well, at least they started it. You gotta give them at least that credit. They at least tried. But maybe it speaks more about the series, not about... And not the users, if they could not even finish it. While there are reviews that do critique the series without maligning James's race as a problem, there's no, there's no. When you are criticizing the like said, criticizing the race, they are criticizing the fact that they blackwashed Queen Cleopatra in the series. They're not maligning James because of her race. They are maligning the fact that she was cast purely for political purposes and the blackwashing of an actual historical figure. Much of the posted audience feedback follows this trend. It's without question the issue that comes up the most. So why Queen Cleopatra's Rotten Tomatoes critic score is so low? Interestingly, audiences aren't the only ones who dislike Queen Cleopatra. The critical response is not strong either, with only 10% of critical reviews providing the series with a fresh score. But in contrast to the audience reviews, critics haven't taken such a strong stance on the casting decisions. For the most part, because critics are pretty much paid shills, but moving on. With some reviews stating that James's performance is the strongest element of the series. Whatever. Instead, the wider critical response argues that the series works against itself in terms of production and synthesizing the dramatic elements with the academic. There was nothing academic in the series at all. People were pointing out that it's just events alone. Forget the casting choices. Just events alone were factually inaccurate. There was, so there was nothing academic about this series. It was pure, pure fan fiction. And I say that term very loosely, but it's fiction. It's this gap between complaints of historical inaccuracy and those of production quality that makes it all the more important to approach the series reviews carefully and to better understand the complaints lodged against Queen Cleopatra and where they come from. I think most come from the fact that they are butchering an actual historical figure, blackwashing Queen Cleopatra, and literally bastardizing the culture and history of a population. Of the critical reviews posted on Rotten Tomatoes for Queen Cleopatra, the top critics argue that the series had trouble presenting a cohesive finished product and that the inform informative sections bleh, sorry, of the piece lacked academic authority. No shit. In particular, several reviews noted that the reenactments dramatized Cleopatra's life to the point where they did not feel grounded in reality. Oh, do tell. Enough so that they detracted from the segment's Featuring historical commentary. Actual historical commentary. Taken together, the consensus seemed to argue that the series lacked overall depth and needed more educational content and slightly less drama to create a better balance in the final product. There was no educational content whatsoever. Everything I am witnessing with this series tells me that there was no experts on set. And if there were, they were either lying or... Or ignored. I would bet the, bet the former. Alright, so the problems with the Queen Cleopatra backlash. Even when considering the middle ground between audience and critics' perspectives, Queen Cleopatra's reviews do not paint a flattering picture. However, it is still difficult to get a full, aggregated picture of the series due to the racist audience backlash. So basically, they're calling anyone who criticizes the blackwashing of a genuine historical figure, namely Queen Cleopatra, they're racist. So they, so in effect, this journal working for Screen Rant is accusing the Egyptian nation of being racist. The problem with this response is that the complaints of the series inaccuracies ignore the nuance and uncertainty surrounding such ancient history. I covered an article in another video from actual Egyptian 
experts in archaeology and so forth that flat out stated there is no uncertainty or nuance surrounding the ancient history, at least in terms of Queen Cleopatra. There might not be there might not be like every we not might not know every detail minute or otherwise about her daily life, but there is no nuance or, or uncertainty. Hell, Egyptians are even saying, those in Egypt are saying she is Greek. After all, historians have long debated Cleopatra's race. No, they haven't. An issue that has been especially difficult to resolve given that society's present, present concepts of race did not exist during Cleopatra's lifetime. No, it, it, race has existed since the dawn of mankind. Pretty fucking much. And Egyptians owned slaves as well. So there was a concept of race during even Queen Cleopatra's time. And before that, thousands of millennia. All right? So there has been a concept of race, just not the concept of race that these leftist weirdos have. Making it impo not impossible that she was black. Yes, it is. Yes, it does. She was not black. Egyptians are saying she was Greek. She has Hellenistic features. Her father was of the Ptolemaic line he, who married his sister because that line was notorious for keeping it literally within the family. Ultimately, it's disappointing that such an influential, intelligent, historical figure accomplishments and work are overshadowed by the color of her skin. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. But they blackwashed the character for a political statement, and that's per the words, essentially, of the director herself, because she wanted to make a political statement, not tell an actual historical documentary. And the so that's the reason why it's being overshadowed by the color of her skin, because they made it a point for the color of her skin to overshadow and be the statement in what they were producing. Well, that is the end of the article. So there it is, folks. Like I said, the spin is starting. The spin is starting. So we have accusations, essentially review bombing, and a little bit of accusations of racism. But then, then again, Screen Rant would be accusing the entire country of Egypt, pretty much, of being racist. Like I said, Netflix single-handedly pissed off people on multiple continents. I thought Brie would hold that crown for single-handedly pissing off the entire country of India, but Netflix said, hold my beer. But there it is, folks. So what do you make of all this? Have you, did you watch the Queen Cleopatra series? Did you not watch it? If you did, were you able to finish it? And if you did finish it or watch it at all... What did you think of it? Let me know all that stuff down in the comments below. I'll be live later tonight on Twitch. Don't know what I'm playing, but I'll be starting about 7.30 p.m. Eastern. So come hang out then. My Twitch is Jade underscore Fire. Going to have a chill, hang out, play a game, and so forth. For this uh, evening before, thank God it's Friday. So like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This is Mara Jade. Catch you on the dark side. And... Media spin right round. That's what they're fucking doing. <laughs>